Hello, everybody, and welcome to the long-awaited second series. University of Nebraska, Lincoln versus St. Clair College, and we're here on Hardpoint is our first map. And the Saints are off to a little bit of a lead, but just as I say that, it looks like Nebraska is starting to take the lead here. Yeah, let's see how Saints start off in their second series of the day, just coming off a 3-0. It's a map we haven't seen that much coming out. Usually we see Terminal for this hard point, but it's going to be this one coming out here, and it's a great start for Nebraska. It's even getting off to an early lead. Not a huge one at that, but they will be taken down. It's going to take down one there. Going to have to find a second near Priestley. Definitely wants to hold this position down. We'll go for the push. Gets that trade out, and that should secure Saints some pretty good spawns for the next hard point. They're going to start off on it. Some dangerous shots coming out of Priestley. Looks away at the wrong moment and gets pushed by two. The damage coming up from KB and is gonna find one. Great shots from there, just jump peeking and is gonna have so many points stacking up here, but they need to give him a little bit ahead. Priestley is able to find one. He's gonna be able to find that player there as and Slayer is gonna find one as well. Priestley going down, but Saints doing so, so well on the rotates and they're gonna be, it's looking like they're gonna get all 60 seconds of this hard point as Nebraska Lincoln just looks like they're gonna give this one up. Yeah, Nebraska having a little bit of a tough time here. Just trying to find some way out of the point, but they're just unable to find it right now. Just holding that high ground is a really good point for the Saints right now. Priestley getting a nice kill as well. Defensively Cloudsy, gonna find one, gonna find two. He's gonna find a third here down the hall, but he's not gonna do it. He finds one with the pistol, he's gonna rotate around, try and get to the next hard point. That is the Saints' next goal there. Yeah, and they're gonna be looking to rotate early, but Nebraska actually giving up so much time. They should have a really strong setup here. Let's see if Saints can break them. They're gonna be able to find one, find a second, but Cloudsy is gonna find two with that SMG. 7-2 and two for Nebraska there, playing so, so well to start off. Priestley is going to contest some points here. St. Clair get the best spawns they could ask for, are going to have the rest of this hard point here as Nebraska. Just how not flipping the spawns properly. Brandon's going to find some shots there, should find. Clarzy there does do so. Inside is going to find one as well. And yes, the last 20 seconds should go over to St. Clair here, able to get the flip on the hard point there. Is they're going to be at 100 points and taking once this one's over with. Yeah, it looks like they're even just moving towards the next one. They're going to have a big fight here in this road here. He's going to have a concussion come out. Brandon going to get the kill. He's going to back out there. Try and open them up. It's there. And are going to get one from long range on. Brandon going to get another <laughs> right back. And now it's looking like Nebraska does have here on the second board. But just as I say that, two of them go down. So they're going to find one. Zephyr's going to find another. Now the Saints are contesting it. Now they are the ones in control. Very good spot, so they're gonna find one though. Now, the rest flooding out of the site, trying to get some flips right back over to Nebraska. They are trying to get it, but it's not gonna be enough. The Saints are still in the lead. It's being contested out, and the grenades are gonna get a kill there. Zebus gonna fall, KB gonna fall, and now, and so they're gonna take out Zebus there. Now, one left on the point, racking up the points. Oh, so they're gonna find one, and so they're gonna find another. KB gonna get a double kill there. So they're gonna find one lot from the tower. For next, throwing it down, doesn't guard his back, but he's has the reaction time, turn around, kill Brandon. Zeb is gonna find one as well. Now we see Zeb is running around, trying to find a kill somewhere. He finds one, KB caught lacking here, and now he's gonna keep pushing on through. This is gonna go in with a teammate. It's not gonna go down. Brandon's gonna take on Zebus. and now the point has in the control of Nebraska Lincoln. It was very back and forth, but St. Clair didn't come out. Yeah, Hinder was sitting here for a solid maybe 30 seconds without shooting at a single enemy, but was able to get the good spawns for his team. Will go down early though. The Saints are going to find a couple crucial picks. The spawns are still coming in for Nebraska though. They should be flooding into this point with some pace, but all four members of the Saints are finally backed up. Priestley is going to find one in Nebraska. Are in a bit of a tough spot here as KB and Slea finding three. Only Priestley goes down. One more member that Zibs will go down to KB as St. Clair are now running away with this one. They're just able to flip the spawns even when Nebraska play for it and they will have get the garbage time again here. These last 15 seconds are going to count with St. Clair going to look through it. Look how early Nebraska decides to make their way over on the site. 
But St. Clair is just picking up the garbage time, it feels like, for every single point, and will put themselves at 173 points and say, I was gonna find one. Let's see how they decide to attack this one. Priest is gonna find the shots onto that one, will find one, does get stunned up, will choose the challenge, even while stunned on Hinder. Is doing so much damage with this SMG here. KB's gonna challenge wow. him with the pistol, will take him down. Five kills free for KB. We've seen this before, we're seeing it again. Finds a six, let's see how many more he can rack up here on absolute fire will pick up the smg in these close corners a great call from him there as Ensley is gonna pick up one kb just holding this point down on his lonesome will be able to find one what more teamwork as, as he almost turns on to Zebs there for the seven three won't be able to find it as a bit of time will go over to nebraska here but still gonna find one more there sink there 60 points away from victory and looking very very good so far in this game one very, very good right now. Hinder getting a kill on Priestley. Key KB also going down. Cloudsy, speaking of Enslay, and now the streaks have been reset for St. Clair. Ooh, Brandon gonna find one from long range here. And now Nebraska racking up the points. But the Saints are not gonna let that go as they find two kills. Nebraska's gonna find one, Brandon gonna find another. They're just trying to take control here, and it looks like they do. They're back in the spot where they wanna be in control of the hard point. Hinder walking right past Enslay at finding the kill. Priest is gonna get one, another. Wow, oh Priest going crazy goodness. up front. And now there's two to his right. Will he know? Does he see it? Well, uh, the rest of his team surely does as they get a kill in sync. Enslay gonna get one, and he's going oh to get another. Goodness. Will he get three? There's one or two it's more left, three. but that's gonna go over to KB. Only a few more points left. Even if they get this whole hard point, there's gonna be at least one. One more left, but does it even matter at this point? The Saints are just in such control. Yeah, such a dominant game here from the Saints. And if you look at the kill feed, just they are out fragging the side of Nebraska and Slay at 20 and 10, having a monster game. KB also with a 2.0 KD here, 18 and 9 great games coming up from them and they're four points away from victory nebraska will give this one final shot they have a good setup they have the spawns let's see how st Clair decide to attack oh, this one the cruise missile is a oh, great no. start <laughs> to their attack let's see if kb can pick up anyone here you can they're see inside nebraska everyone's hiding inside so they won't get hit by the missile but Priestley goes inside picks up a couple and says gonna pick up a third and that is going to do it map one going over to St. Clair in a very, very dominant game of hard points. Wow, yeah, dominant is to say the <laughs> least there. While Nebraska did have their moments, they had a great few pushes here and there. The hard point was just always in control by the Saints in the final kill of the round. Nice, clean, classic kill down the alleyway here. And look at that score line. Highest kill streak, seven and seven. Priestley and KB tied. Non-traded kills. That's going to be Enslay with 17. Overall, an amazing performance from the Saints. Their first round in. It seems like you were right. That first game was just merely a warm-up for them, and they are all warmed up. Yeah, we saw how good they did last game in the hard point, and then the S D kind of got a little bit close. So um, I, I'm interested to see if the Saints can really come out firing in the S D, play their game well, and have a bit of a bigger margin in the victory to maybe not make it so, so nail-biting. Yeah, it's, we have a lot of exciting games ahead. And we'll see if Nebraska will deliver us those nail-biting games that Iowa did. I think they will. You know, just got to sit back. You know, sometimes we play a little bit more reactive to the team. But with all that being said, we're going to throw it to a quick break. We'll be back with game two.
Welcome everybody to game two here. It's SND, St. Clair College versus Nebraska Lincoln. SND, always such a close game. It's the same map as last time. Maybe the Saints will have mastered it by now, but it's looking like <laughs> the attack is not going the way of so He gets an amazing double kill there. And wow, in record time, Nebraska Lincoln takes down all of the Saints. St. Clair just cannot get off to those good starts in the search and destroy. Lose the first round very, very quickly. Great flank here from Cloudsy. As he finds a couple there. And a very strong start for Nebraska there as they're able to take the first round in a clean 4 0 fashion. St. Clair really need to pick it up on this map. As we know, it's a very uh, defensive side map. Yes, it yes. was. Well, actually, last time it was very attack sided. Was it I attack believe. sided? I think it was defense sided. Maybe yeah. you're right. Maybe you're right. But we shall see. I think you're right. It was uh, it was attack sided here. But nonetheless, it doesn't matter if you have masked the map as Nebraska Lincoln looks to have done. But wow, once again, I stand corrected here. Casters Curse, KB Priestley get two kills right off the board, leaving it a two four. KB is going to find one more. Team kill will come out from Brendan there on to KB and say so he's going to find the shots there. Now, I believe he will go down. A nice clear round back from the Saints. Nebraska not getting any kills. St. Clair getting five kills that round, including a team kill. What a way to bounce back for them as inside finds the final kill. They're great shots onto the prone player. And as Search and destroy works. You switch sides every single every single round, so as much variety as possible on both attack and defense. You can see the team are all smiling, feeling good after that round. Probably laughing about the team kill that yeah. happened there, <laughs> but things happen. Let's see what they decide to do on their attack. Yeah, it's the war. Anything's possible here as they rush in towards B. Wow, KB getting a nice kill on Cloudy there. Don't want to stay in the same spot twice, but hey, Hinder going to get to oh, one of the, the car blew up, I believe, there. Yeah. Priestley and Ensler getting them both down. Wow, just like that. Saints looking in control. Just shattered here, all down to Brandon. <laughs> and he doesn't even have bomb to his name. It's going to be a tough uphill battle here. There's one way across the map there. Don't know if they can see each other. And now he's going to find one around the corner, and he goes down anyways. And Nebraska Lincoln going to take the win. I mean, it's just a great grenade there from Nebraska. Picks up two members, and Sully will find his third of the round there to close it out. Another great round defensively. I think the defensive teams are just really turning it up a notch on this map, and they're having a great time. So They're having a great time indeed. They're doing an amazing job just... Playing the defensive game, both teams playing amazing on defensive, but if this keeps going this way, it's probably going to go to the way of Nebraska Lincoln because they did start to win. So St. Clair does need to win one of these attacking rounds here. Actually, going to get one on Zebis there. Rotate around. They have the live advantage. They can play a little bit more passively here. Oh, nice shot. Wow, amazing angle, and he gets the kill from downtown through the window across the road. Ensley is here now. Another engage from KB. Wow, they're all falling oh, down. The defensive grenade. is strong from both sides here. Nebraska haven't gotten a single kill on their uh, attacking efforts, and St. Clair, I believe, have one kill in, have one. so far. So <laughs> 360 in the nade is crazy. <laughs> a, bit of a, a bit of a rough start for both of these teams on the attack. Let's see who's going to be the first team to break through, really. I think St. Clair are going to be the ones who can finally pull one out on the attack. I would love to see it come out from them right here. Let's see how they decide to approach one. I think going towards that A site might not be the worst call. I'm always calling for it, but they just seem to love that B site so much more. Stay away from that van for a little bit. It's going to blow up soon, as we learned from last there round. It there it is. And Brandon is going to wait it out. Going to find a quick pick onto Soli. 2001 there as Hinder goes down as well. And I think... 
Uh, this might have been a little bit of a caster curse as the Saints are looking very, very good here in this attack. Brand's gonna look for the shots across the map. Cloudy on one HP will be able to survive, but the plant should be going down for St. Clair here as they wow. goes down across the map. KB just finding those time after time. Cloudy in the 1v4 knows the desperate times call for desperate me me measures will be going down, and St. Clair finally able to find that first offensive round of the game and give themselves a 3 2 advantage. I must say, they did have an amazing first attack. Attacking or one of the last attacking rounds, but that car explosion just really shattered their entire game plan. They found the early kill right out of the gate, and then into the car explosion really set them up for a bad run. But hey, they finally got their attacking win, and now it's up to Nebraska Lincoln to show that they can attack as well and try and keep up the tempo that this game is going. Once again, it's up to the Saints to prove that their defense has not faltered throughout these rounds and stands tantamount against Nebraska. Lincoln's offense here. Go trying to get some shots from long range. Doesn't get the early kill. It's fine. They're going to rotate, try and take a little bit more passive, safer angles right here. Take a high ground. Play it slow. Play it careful. Going to play for some kills here, but they don't want to overextend. Bomb guy up first. It's a little bit daunting. Finds one gun dart in through the door. Ensign finds one. Hinder gonna find one right back. Taking a long range fight from oh, one angle. Well, Hinder getting the double kill there. That's gonna be a rough for the Saints. 2v3. It's still winnable here, but it's gonna be an uphill battle. Uphill battle for sure. And Slayer's able to make it across on 38 HP. The plant is going down and the clock has started ticking for the Saints now. They kind of have. 30 seconds really to play around here as it takes a bit of time to defuse there as well. Let's see how they decide to place one. Kind of have to go a little bit quickly, taking their time. Maybe taking a little bit too much time. They're looking for an early pick to make it a 2v2, but smart from Nebraska to not pick anything. The stun is going to hit. Let's see if that Semtex can pick up a pick. No, we won't be able to find it. 20 seconds left. Brandon does go down, and that is going to be it. Nebraska on their attack are going to be able to pick up their third round of the game and in these S and D series, every team making it so so close. You can see the pace change from the Saints. Maybe a bit harder for them, but in those respawn game modes, they really turn it up a notch. So if St. Clair can just string a few rounds together here. They will definitely be looking good to close out the series. Yeah, Nebraska Lincoln managing to keep pace with everybody, and as you can tell, the team is still locked in. They're not too worried about it, but they do definitely want to get this win night for everybody here so sure they want to get the quick win but Nebraska Lincoln is looking to make this one a long hard fought game here and I'm here for it as they make their put their defense here the Saints making their push up to B it's not looking like anything's gonna happen here we're a little bit oh but we see a long range engagement no bullets landing recently there get the spray down on Sully but he's just dodging and weaving taking the defensive angles has a really good spot there. A few bullets land, but he's gonna have to rotate up. Priestley's going the offensive. He sees a foot. Will he get the kill? He will not just yet. They know he's there. They just can't get him through that forklift here. But wow, Klausi gets one seven. Team kill. That might be the opening the Saints need here. Oh, there's a grenade. Rotates. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Nice. KB gets the kill finally. <laughs> now it's a two. E3 scenario for Nebraska Lincoln. Oh, the plant might go down for the Saints. Yes, it's looking very, very good. Ooh. But wow, Klausi gets one and Slaya two v two situation. Who's gonna take this one home? Looks like Klausi is gonna push. That forklift is pretty much bulletproof here. That's where oh, you want to be. Flank here. Thank you from Zebis is great, but does he have any idea? KB's up there, yes he does, does go for a challenge! KB's not able to find it on 39 HP, Zebis lives, 24 seconds left, it's all up to Priestley in the 1v2, and they know exactly where he is. Gonna have to come up huge here, does take shots, is able to survive, just has to play the time here, but he will get pushed very, very quickly, let's see how he decides to play this one, goes for the challenge, but Zebis with a pistol is able to take him down and will find the defuse. Nebraska's able to take that round, and... They're going to be taking a 4-3 lead in this search and destroy. That was a great retake from them. A, three, like a few more seconds, three or four more seconds, and that would have been a win for St. Clair. That was down to the wire. Props to Priest for nearly clutching that one up, but Zebes managed to clutch it up for his team. And it's going to be Saints needing to bring it back here again in SND. We saw this not too long ago, down 4-3. 
Gonna have to clutch it up here. Still in good spirits, which is very, very important. Let's see how they decide to play the defensive side here. As Nebraska's gonna leave the bomb and spawn, so he's gonna go pick that one up. And if you look at the score lines, it's all very, very even. Most players are, I mean, if you look at Nebraska, the whole team is exactly even. I've never seen that before, actually. Yes. That's, that's something, and they, they're crazy. winning, so they're doing something right. And it, considering they had a team kill in that last round, the fact they brought it back was very, very important yeah. for them. But let's see what they decide to do on this attack. 60 seconds left. Brandon loves playing this spot on a side, and anyone that peeks him will be taking a little bit of damage. Hinder is going to survive on Lynch. Look for the wall bangs wow. there. Brandon is not able to find it, but he's just able to to maintain this space for St. Clair, which is so, so crucial, because on the other side of the map, Nebraska aren't finding much on that B side. They have 40 seconds. And wow, quickly, look at that What a need from Hinder, uh, from Brandon onto yeah. Hinder <laughs> across the map there. Beautiful geometry from him there. Now th 25 seconds left. It's going to be a quick push from Nebraska, but Priest is going to find one on the cross. Going to look for the second. We'll get shot in the back, but we'll give out some important info. As KB is able to find one. Cloudsy It's going to be all up to him here on the site. He does not have the bomb hook. So 30 seconds left. We'll pick that one up. Go for the 1v1, but we'll go down. St. Clair Saints able to take that one off the back of Brandon's amazing nade. <laughs> that and just was crazy. Great team play. And Slayer on the flank here does pick up the final kill. Very close to the fight. But Saints able to bounce back when they need it most. It's a 4 4 game. 4 4. They're keeping pace. We saw this before. Well, the Saints come out on top, I believe. At this rate, Nebraska Lincoln should be the ones to take this one home. So now, a few more rounds, one or two rounds, the Saints need to win one back to back to try and take the lead here. Now it's up to them. They're making their push. They have won a push so far. It's been hard fought for these pushes here. Nonetheless, looks like Nebraska Lincoln's playing very defensively. Oh, that's a great flank. Cloudsy finds an amazing flank kill there on Henslet. That's a big player in the game right there. Wow, long range engagement's coming out as well. And for Angle seems to be covered. It's not looking great for the Saints right now. 3v4. It's going to be tough to come back. It's going to be very, very hard here. Priestley, every time he opens that door, it takes at least a couple of bullets. And Brandon will be going down. Cloudsy finally does go down, but did find a couple picks here with the SMG. Really turning it up for his team here. Priestley did see that player there, but did not find the shot. 2v3 situation for the Saints. It's far from over. KB needs to pick up this kill. As Soli is just playing with no headset, it seems like. Doesn't hear him. Priestley sees one in front of him, but will just make his way over towards this the B-side. They're going to be able to get this plant down, but Hinder on a huge flank. Let's see if the Saints can pick that one up. Let's see. Oh, they does fire off a bullet and does not pick up the kill. KB's going to be slight to push this one. He's going to be able to pick it up. This plant does go down. And 40 seconds left for Zebes to come back to the side and pull off the 1v2. But I know exactly where he is as KB lands a few crucial sh shots. Yeah, they are playing amazingly right now, playing Ring Around the Rosie with their enemies, just running around and around. They managed to mix them up. And now, <laughs> here they are, playing down. But wow, Zebes gets a kill. It's a 1v1 scenario. It's down to the wire. 20 seconds left. This has to play defensively. He gets the kill, nice and that's the Saints KB. taking the lead in the points. What a play by KB. Nebraska, they got to make sure their headsets are on because like that <laughs> one kill really opened up the Saints to take this one. Yeah, KB is absolutely on fire in this game and putting Saints on map point here. Looking to take it down and they're going to have a couple chances to do so. Obviously, want to close it out as soon as possible. Let's see how they decide to play this round. KB definitely giving them that little bit bo of boost on the kills that they need. 11 and 5, absolutely amazing performance from him. It's going to be Saints on the defense, but you can see they're playing a bit aggressive, and Inslea maybe a bit too aggressive does go down to Cloudsy, who's been doing a lot of work with the SMG in this past few rounds. Let's see how far up A he can really get. A challenge coming out there from Hinder, and KB picks up his 12th of the map. Such great shots from there. Makes it a 3v3 situation. Bomb is down as well. So Nebraska going to have to back up to pick that one up. But 
Clouds. He's gonna take a couple of shots there. Brandon on this angle that he loves so much. Gonna find the challenge there with Soli. We'll find a couple of shots, but KB does go down to Clouds. He previously also on 1 HP. We'll be able to make it out alive in Nebraska. Looking very, very strong here in this round. Gonna try and send it to the last deciding round. They still don't have the bomb. We'll back up to it. And it looks like they're gonna make their way over to A site. They're gonna look to get this plan down, but maybe Priestley can find some cross map snipes. Let's see how Brandon decides to play this one. Challenges the 1v2 does go down, and that is gonna be the round for Nebraska Lincoln. It's gonna be around 11 yet again. Let's see if our Saints can clutch it up again. Let's see, let's see. They are on the attack now, and it should maybe go well. It seems defensively sided there in the beginning, but now it's definitely attacking sided for these teams. We get to the final round. It's gonna be very tough for the Saints here. To go against Nebraska Lincoln. They've proven themselves a worthy adversary. It's down to the wire. They seem to be in good spirits, though. They're ready, they're happy, they're locked in here. We'll see if they can perform, though. So Nebraska Lincoln here has the bomb. Gonna throw, try and give them a taste of their own medicine. They're gonna sit down a trophy system that's gonna guard that precious van there. And now, try and play it slow. Picks. Saints on the defense, just gonna be playing it super duper slow. They definitely don't wanna make any round losing mistakes as dropping one member early could be that nail in the coffin. KB has to be careful here on this head glitch. Able to take a couple of bullets. It won't be going down. Find some shot there. And Priestley is going to find that pick on the Cloudsy, who's been the spark plug for Nebraska in the search and destroy. It's going to be very hard for them to now make their way onto the side. Hinder will be going down to KB. And now it's a 4v2 situation for the side of the Saints. And if they just play this one very slowly, should be able to pick this one up. KB with his 14th kill of the map will be able to make it a 4v1. Going for that 15 bomb. Won't be able to find it, but solely all all on their lonesome with 30 seconds left and a dream. It's gonna be a very hard one to win here. Let's see the angles that they decide to take. We'll be getting taken down to 40 HP here and that will be the second map. Going to St. Clair, they just love going to map to round 11s in these search and destroys and they're able to clutch it up, pick, pick up the 2-0 lead and now they put themselves onto match point. Yeah, match point here. 2-0 lead, it's all looking great. Look at that clean shot from Priestley. The handgun as well. Just looking at the scoreboard there, KB was definitely the hard carry. 14 kills, 11 non-traded kills, and a four kill streak to boot. He played at top gear there. He was playing amazingly all throughout the match. But will he be playing that amazingly in the next and potentially final game we have here today going into game three what do you think that Nebraska could do differently Nebraska I mean in the SND they looked very good but on the hard point they looked a little bit outclassed KB has just been on fire it seems like all day just top fragging every single lobby and I'm excited to see what they got in store. I think Saints will be able to close this one out maybe 3-1 on the last map we might give Nebraska one one little point, but other than that, I don't see a way the Saints can drop this, especially after all the momentum they've built up already. Yeah, but with all that being said, we'll have all the answers to that question and more after a quick break.
Hello, everybody, and welcome to our third and potentially final game for today. As St. Clair has been on a roll here against Nebraska Lincoln here. But wow, Hinder getting a nice double kill. Priestley getting a kill in return. Who's to say? It looks like the Saints are in control. Yeah, but so he's gonna find that kill to Priestley and deny all of the progress made onto A so far. KB goes on to Hinder after finding one of his own, and it's a great start for Nebraska. They're able to find some picks back as St. Clair have not been able to cap anything. But as I say that, they have all four members on this A side, and it looks like Nebraska are gonna choose to give this B side up. No, they're gonna go for a recontest, and Clousy finds a huge pick onto KB there that might start the recontest. But as I say that, the points are already captured. They're, all this fight is for nothing as they're gonna have to make their way over to that A side and all the gunfights are gonna be around that. Hinder in a very, very good position here, very close to the same spawn. Do they have any idea that he could be around this corner? Brandon's gonna be able to find it, but does go down and say, uh, looking to find that trade, but it won't go. And that's a great stop from Nebraska. Able to get a team kill there onto St. Clair as they're gonna be putting all of their attack onto this A side for the next two minutes. All the A side here getting the defense all lined up. Trades out though. Only two left defending him. Just look one attacking. Just move down. Seba's gonna get one as well. Brandon gonna get one return. Maybe try and open the side up for his team, but looks like Nebraska's defense might be a little bit too strong right now. Yeah, you can see Saints just like rotating all the way around of the left side of the map, but Priestley goes down and that they're not able to find that flank. KB finds one as well, but Hinder takes it down Brandon. They just can't seem to find the opening kicks. Let's see where KB's going. He knows there's one around that area. Has no idea where they are. It's clouds. He just making his way over into mid now. But then Slayer's gonna go down to hinder yet again, and St. Clair just can't seem to get anything going. Nebraska out fragging them by a good amount this round. They're up five lives, six lives as the car picks up Brandon again. Hinder's gonna find that pick. Cloudsy's gonna find one as well. This is a great, great round from Nebraska. St. Clair down to their last 10 lives. After the last 10 here. The Nebraska Lincoln doing a very good job of holding them down. Make that nine lives. They can have the speed of a cat because they only have 20 seconds left to get on there. KB gets a kill though. Might that be the opening the Saints need? But they're so far from the point, it might not be enough time. As Zebes gets a double kill, Klausi gets another. And the Saints seem to just be poxed in to their spawn here with Nebraska just playing amazing on the defense. St. Clair has no more respawns, no more chances to get on the point. Only two seconds left. This first game is gonna go over Nebraska. That was about as dominant of a second round, uh, second point defense as you can get. St. Clair, I don't even think got to step their foot once onto that objective as it was just great, great defense from Nebraska. Finding these long shots across the map and just picking off St. Clair whenever they needed to. Definitely a hot star for them. And they're able to take the first round, but let's see how St. Clair decide to respond. They're gonna be on the defense now, and we just saw how hard it was for them to push on the attack. Let's see if they can replicate what Nebraska did on their own defense. Yeah, it's all up to them. Oh, might get a nice long range kill there. Just barely doesn't get it. It's slowly there. Get over find the kill. And they're gonna get one. Attack now the Saints need defensive and they are as they get three kills out of the gate. This one left though, Hinder gets the kill, but his teammates there to back him up. Great start for St. Clair now, and it's gonna be Nebraska going all in onto this B side, but you can see how much those stuns and nades slow them down. That's gonna be one pick coming through for the Saints. Can they find a second? We'll be finding the shots there, but nobody will be going down still. 50 seconds and taking Nebraska, need to move. is gonna pick up one, but it's gonna be a couple picks going for Nebraska now. Priest is gonna pick up Sully there, and the push will come through. Hinder will be going, taking a pick, and then Slayer won't be able to find Cloudsy there. A huge gunfight win for them as they start capturing this B site. They have all four members on. Let's see if Sinclair can maybe find a retake here, which would almost certainly secure the round for them. KB is gonna find an opening pick there. Brandon's gonna find it as well as KB goes down. Priest is going to find Cloudy, and it's all up to Hinder who will be going down as well. Saints are able to get the defense and with 40 seconds left, they're looking to close out the round right here. Yeah, amazing defense here. At least the Saints got the B site here, but they might have one left.
last push on the side of Nebraska here, 230 seconds left. But wow, with all the kill feed looking green, it's looking not to be the case. Cause gets oh. nice two kills low. That might be enough time for his team to push, but Priest is gonna shut that one right down as he floods in. It's gonna be chaos here. Oh, it's a bloodbath here. Sevens gets a kill. Only 10 Follow seconds remaining. Oh, he finds one. Wow, Red low team thing. kill! And now it's all chaos on this front. It still gets a kill. KB gonna get it down. And now Cloudy is on the point. The nades are coming out. They might get the cap. Six seconds left and they get the cap. Can you believe no, it? They, they have it they have what no, the they kill for Priestley? <laughs> I can't believe it. Three seconds left on the clock. And the Saints are oh going to be able. Priestley's going wild. And that <laughs> is going to be a St. Clair win. That was crazy. <laughs> Absolute craziness. I would wish we could hear the comms. It was definitely like point one percentage point away from being <laughs> captured there, but able to make his way onto the side right. there, Priestley, and then just frying the rest <laughs> of the lobby. A great rounder from Sinclair. So many clutch plays to close it out, and they will be making it 1-1 as they're going to be back on the attack. And, you know, it's good to win that round. It's important, but they really have to get their stuff together here on this attacking round. Such a good defense for them. But let's see if they can break from Nebraska when it matters most. Yeah, it looks like they're going to go rushing B again. They're going to try and get the early cap, and it's looking to be pretty uncontested by Nebraska. Right now, they're spraying them with Not bullets. The drug. Not going to get any kills, though. They're going to rotate around. Brandon does get the opening kill there with a grenade. KB gets one in return. Now in the alleyway, it looks like Clousy's trying to get the nice flank kill, but gets taken by Enslayer. And right now, point B is going to be secured for the Saints. They have two more minutes to get onto the other point. KB gonna get a kill, so they can get one return. The lives are looking the way of St. Clair as well. They're up three kills right now. Long range. Clair needs to find an opening before they can really set down and hunker down on that A site. So they can see the opening kill. Zebis gets another. Now we're seeing a rotate come out from KB. He's playing very, very fast. He's gonna get chased down by Hinder. Go back over to A, play the defense. As the rest of the team tries to hold some points. And so they finds one and look for another. Doesn't see any from the sight lines. For the holy hand grenade there, the Hail Mary from Brandon doesn't find much. He's gonna find one and throw it his scopes, get some bullets down on him as well. Yeah, it's gonna be a wide open for the Saints if they can get these kills here. KB gets one and so he gets another. Only two more left to send oh, away. Brandon gets shot. one. Only one left to guard it. It's gonna be Zebis. He has the most physical fuse. Oh wow, KB gets another. And now capture point's gonna go over to St. Clair. Yeah, and the it's taking down. They're able to get one tick. Priestley falls, though. It's a huge pick, and Insulet goes down as well. They're going to just rush onto the side. KB is going to be able to find one. Find a second. Brandon's finding the third. There's one more member. Brandon has to be careful. Doesn't have any idea where he's getting pushed from and will be going down. But were they able to get that second tick? I believe they were. So they're one tick away from taking this map, and they're doing way better than they were before. Insulet is able to pick up one, and they're definitely finding these opening frags. Insulet is going to find the second. KB is going to find the third and Saints are gonna get onto this A side. It's Otto Zebs again in that little corner. Can he stay alive? Brandon is gonna be on that side. Forces someone to push him. Zebs will turn around the corner. We'll find one. Brandon still on this side. We'll throw a flash into the trophy system, but the picks are coming out for the Saints and they're so, so close to capturing this one. I don't think anyone can really contest them and they're gonna be able to get the capture 2-1 for side of St. Clair. And now all they have to do is hold on for one more defense and this will be yet another sweep for them as that's exactly what they're looking for. The Saints are in control on control so far, but that last defensive wow. round got a little bit down to the wire there on that one point. Sure, it wasn't the last and final point, but that point was almost capped by the enemy team there in Nebraska. So they do have to watch it. You can't let their guard down. These are close matches, but they are looking to close this one up right here. One, maybe gets two. Will he get another here? He's gonna go keep roaming. But Zebis gonna get Priestley in return. Down on the barrier, and Enslea finds him. KB gonna get one through the wall. Three kills already in the round. Now the Saints are doing very, very well, keeping the blocks in this corner. Enslea getting one from long range here. Right now, the Saints are in a really good position. It looks like the Rascaline can't really find any openings. And Slayer will go down though, and is that maybe an opening? He was all the way in their spawn, so 
dying in the enemy spawn on the defense. Definitely not the worst, especially if you can take one with you. Brandon gonna find three there, and KB's gonna pick up Cloudsy. A nice little team wipe for the side of the Saints there. Brandon going massive now on that three streak. Let's see if he's gonna be able to find more. one more. He will. That's four for Brandon now. Maybe he gets the ball rolling here. Can he find the fifth? The Zips will take him down, but 25 seconds left. Inslay is in a great position here. We'll pick up one. Should get the second. Maybe won't find the third there, but it should get traded out as KB is able to pick up Zebs there in 15 seconds left. That might be it. Wow. One more push onto this B side, but KB is going to find one more. Eight seconds left. Let's see if Nebraska can even get a touch here as Parisi is on the flank. Able to find one. Finds the second. Won't find the third. They are on this B side. Inslay is able to take out Solido, and Brandon will pick up a couple kills here to finish it off. St. Clair Saints able to get yet another sweep, and as I predicted, a 3-1 on that <laughs> final map. A great showing from them. They're able to pick up the victory and great play from them overall. I just, oh yeah, what an amazing last round. They just kept them boxed in their spawn incessantly. They kill, like, look at that. We saw one spawn in and they were already falling down. An absolutely amazing game from the Saints. An absolutely amazing series overall. But that last and final game you could really see the Saints truly shine in their full luster. Yeah, and, uh, you know, let's do a quick recap of what went down today. Game 1, St. Clair were able to get the 3-0 sweep over... Iowa. Iowa, yeah, that was a pretty close series. In the, f in the second map especially, both of these games went to round 11, but Saints really showing up that clutch factor. And they are able to take both series 3-0, a very, very good day for them I think just gonna have to work on that search and destroy a little bit a bit too close for comfort yep. here but other than that <laughs> looking very very strong in all the respawn game modes exactly and then in our second yeah we just watched the second series and one thing I can't get over is just how Priestley clutched up that one yeah. game getting like five kills in the span of 10 seconds that was something to see that's like the one in a million <laughs> chance you play for you live for and you watch for but overall i believe that was another sweep by the saints against nebraska that was a 3-0 sweep overall 3-1 a lot of couple close games another round 11 game for s d overall they played amazingly yeah so uh, i think that is going to do it for us today and uh, we can start wrapping it up. We can say thank you to all of our sponsors. We got Subway, HyperX, Tim Hortons, the SRC and the St. Clair alumni. We also want to say thank you to everyone in the back. Yes, that is going to be Tommy, Aiden and I believe it's going to be Patrick Smoke Chambers, another caster, now working in the back, making sure everything works. One of his first times, but he did an amazing job overall. And don't forget to follow our socials. We keep everything up to date on there, so you'll keep up with the best streams, all the promotions, all the merch, anything you could ever want to know about the Saints, it'll be on those socials. So make sure to follow, like, and subscribe to all those. With all of that being said, we are going to ba be back here tomorrow at 7 p.m. We got two doubleheaders, both Call of Duty and Valorant, both Academy and Varsity. So four games tomorrow. And uh, we're going to be starting it at 7 p.m. with the Academy teams and the Varsity teams. will both play at 8.30. So an exciting day of games tomorrow. But thank you guys for watching. It's been uh, Theo and uh, Matthias. It's been a great cast, a fun time today. And we'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.